student today i am going to discuss with you a few important question from should wizard hit mommy important now let's start the first question how did the wizard help roger skunk answer the wizard asked roger skunk what he wanted to smell like roger skunk said he wanted to smell like roses <coughs> the wizard took his magic wand and chanted a smell spell and his whole house was full of the smell of roses roger also smelled of roses and in this way the wizard helped him by making him get rid of his bad smell <coughs> Now next question How did Joe want the story of Rose Roger is Kunk to end answer In the original story Roger is a mummy hits the wizard on the head with an umbrella so the wizard makes Roger smell bad again Joe wants the story to end the other way round she wants the wizard to hit on the head of stupid mommy she holds roger's stupid mother responsible for making roger smell bad again and so she wanted her to be punished now next question why did joe think roger skunk was better off with the new smell answer Joe thought Roger Skunk was much better off with the new smell because of which he had been able to find so many friends and played with them happily for her Roger Skunk's story should have ended on a happy note with his pleasant smell because of which he was accepted by the other creatures as their friend question number 4 why was roger skunk's mummy angry with him what did she finally tell him answer roger skunk's mummy was angry with him because she did not like her son smelling of roses roger was a skunk and so he must smell like one she did not care for the fact that all the other animals kept away from him because he smelled badly she decided to take him back to the that awful wizard so that he could get back his old smell question number 5 how did <clears throat> jo wanted jo want the wizard to behave when mummy skunk approached him answer jo does not approve of the idea that skunk's mother should hit the wizard on his head she wants in fact the wizard to spank stupid mother mummy when she approaches him as she does not let her son have a new and pleasant smell so that he could be friend the other creatures question number 6 why did roger skunk visit the owl what did the owl advise him answer Roger is skunk visited the, the owl who was a wise creature to tell him about his pathetic problem and seek his advice on how he could solve it the wise owl ruminates and advises the skunk to consult the wizard who was sure to help him overcome his problem now next question how did Roger is skunk pay the wizard answer the wizard demands seven pennies as fee to make roger is skunk smell like 
roses. A skunk has only four pennies. The wizard tells him how and where to find the rest of the three pennies. Roser follows the wizard's instructions and finds the three pennies in the magic well and pays the wizard the full amount. Now question number 8. What part of the story did Jack himself enjoy the most and why? Answer. Jack enjoyed narrating the part of the story where Roger goes to the wizard's house. He imitated the wizard's voice by scrunching up his face and somehow whining through his eyes. He felt being an old man suited him. He enjoyed the part where he mixed his own childhood hum humiliations and experiences with the narration of the story. Question number 9. How does Joe want the story to end and why? Answer. Joe is a child and her perspective is rather different from that of her father. She lives in an idealized world where beauty and love are the supreme rulers. So, she wants her father to change the end of the story. She wants that the wizard must take his magic wand and hit Roger's mummy. Roger's mother is evil for uh, Joe as she made the wizard make Roger a smell bad again. So she feels the stupid mummy must be punished. Next question. How did the wizard help Roger Skunk? Answer. The wizard asked Roger Skunk what he wanted to smell like. Roger said he wanted to smell like roses. The wizard took his magic wand and chanted a smell and his whole house was full of the smell of roses. Now roses, now roser, smell of roses and in this way the wizard helped him by making him get rid of his bad smell. Question number 11. How does Joe want the story to end? Answer. The child's perspective is different from an adult's perspective. So, Joe Roser Skunk's mother is wicked and stupid and she feels rather annoyed with her for making Roger smell bad again. She wanted a happy ending to the story and so she insists that her father should tell her the story where the wizard should hit mummy in the end. The next question. Why did Roger Skunk go in search of the wizard? Answer. Everybody made, made fun of Roger Skunk because he gave out a bad smell. He was upset about this. So he met the old owl who advised him to go to the wizard who would help him and give him a good smell. Next question. What did you want the wizard to do when mummy skunk approached him? Answer. Joe wanted that when mummy skunk approached the wizard, he should take the magic wand and hit mummy over her head. Instead of the mummy taking the umbrella and hitting the wizard over his head. Next question. Why does Joe insist that her father should tell her the story with a different ending? Answer. A child's perspective is different from an adult's perspective. For Joe Roser, Skunk's mother is wicked and stupid and she feels rather annoyed with her for making Roger smell bad again. She wanted a happy ending to the story and so she insists 
that her father should tell her the story where the wizard should hit mummy in the end next question the same situation can be viewed through two different perspectives how does should wizard hit mummy established this point through the views of jack and joe answer adults are mature experienced and have a practical approach their responses are tutored and their actions reflect their thoughts but children are spontaneous with natural untutored responses jo a 4 year old child prefers to live in her world of dreams and fantasies she would like to wreak vengeance on skunk's mother and is annoyed because her father refuses to accept her suggestion the father has a mature perspective and so he views things beyond the face value and delves into the philosophical and moralistic aspect of the entire situation the wizard according to him had inter interfered with nature and so deserved to be punished jo completely disagrees with her father for her the baby skunk was right and it made perfect sense if the wizard hit the stupid mummy next question why did roger skunk want to change answer roger skunk smelled so bad that none of the other creatures in woodland would play with him whenever he went out to play all the other tiny animals would cry and run away and roger would stand there all alone and cry so he wanted to change question number 17 how was the skunk's story different from the other stories narrated by jack answer joe had never opposed the ending of any other story narrated by jack she had never challenged her father's authority and never interrupted his narration earlier through this story jack wanted to prove that parents always know what is right but um, entirely disapproved of the ending of the skunk's story next question why did roger skunk go to see the old owl answer roger skunk was ignored by his friends because he smelled awful none of the other little woodland creatures would play with him so he went to the wise owl to seek a solution for his problem so that he would be accepted by his friends next question how does jo want the story to end answer a child's perspective is different from an adult perspective for jo roger skunk's mother is wicked and stupid and she feels rather annoyed with her for making roger smell bad again she wanted a happy ending to the story and so she insists that her father should tell her tell her the the story where the wizard should hit mummy in the end next question why does jack insist that it was the wizard that was hit and not the mother answer jack insisted that it was the wizard that was hit and not the mother because he wanted to prove a point to joe that the little skunk loved his mother more than he loved all the other little animals and his mother knew what was right for him 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाई डिड रोजर इसकंक गो टू विजिट दी आउल आंसर रोजर इसकंक विजिट विजिटेड दी आउल हु वॉज अ वाइज क्रीचर टू टेल हिम अबाउट हिज पैथेटिक प्रॉब्लम एंड सीक हिज एडवाइस ऑन हाउ ही कुड सॉल्व इट द वाइज आउल रूमिनेट्स एंड एडवाइज स्कंक टू कंसल्ट विद विद विजार्ड हु वॉज श्योर टू हेल्प हिम ओवरकम हिज प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाई वॉज रोजर स्कंक्स मदर एंग्री ऑन हुम डिड शी पोर हर एंगर आंसर रोजर स्कंक्स मदर वॉज एंग्री बिकॉज द विजार्ड हैड मेड हर सन स्मेल लाइक रोजेज विच वॉज नॉट द वे अ लिटिल स्कंक शुड स्मेल she poured her anger on the wizard and hit him with an umbrella on his head next question which do you think is a better ending of roger skunk's story joe's or her father's why answer <clears throat> joe's father did not want the wizard to hit the mother and wanted the skunk to have its original smell her father's ending of the story is better as it is more practical and realistic jo is a child and her perspective about the ending of the story is childish and immature but her father views things on a philosophical level and thus makes his judgment from an adult's perspective now next question Why did Roger Skunk go to the owl? What advice did he get? Answer: Roger Skunk Skunk was ignored by his friends because he smelled awful. None of the other little woodland creatures would play with him, so he went to the wise owl to seek a solution for his problem so that he would be accepted by his friends. The owl advised him to go. and see the wizard next question why does jo call the skunk's mummy stupid answer jo calls the skunk's mummy mummy stupid because the mummy hit the wizard and forced him to make skunk smell bad again jo knew now knew now again roger skunk would have no friends moreover the wizard was the hero according to jo and roger his stupid mummy could not understand why roger wanted to change his smell now next question how did jo want the skunk story to end and why answer in the original story roger mummy hit the wizard on the head with an umbrella so the wizard makes roger smell bad again Jo wants the story to end the other way round. She wants the wizard to hit on the head of his stupid mummy. She holds Roger's stupid mother responsible for making Roger smell bad again, and so she wants her to be punished. For Jo, Roger's mother is wicked, and she is very annoyed with her for making Roger smell bad again. Jo is a child who lives in an idealized world which is re- reigned by beauty and love. So she wants her father to change the story's ending, wherein the wizard should hit mummy with her magic wand and punish her for being stupid. Next question: How does Jo react to the skunk's story? Why? answer jo react reacts rather strongly to skunk's story she totally disagrees with the story's ending and wants the wizard to hit skunk's mummy who jo thinks stupid why did jo want the wizard to hit mummy answer jo wanted the wizard to hit mummy because she had hit the wizard and made him change roger skunk's smell back to a, a full a foul one 
जो वॉन्टेड रोजर स्कम टू स्मेल लाइक रोजर सो दैट ही गॉट द लिबर्टी टू चूज हिज ओन वे एंड बी फ्रेंड अदर क्रीचर्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड जैक ट्राई टू कन्विंस हिज डॉटर दैट हिज एंडिंग ऑफ स्टोरी वॉज द बेस्ट टू कन्विंस जो दैट हिज एंडिंग ऑफ द स्टोरी वॉज द बेस्ट जैक टोल्ड अर दैट अ मदर्स डिसीजन शुड बी ऑन अर्ड रोजन स्कंक बिकेम हैप्पी लेटर एज ही लव्ड हिज मदर मोर देन ही लव्ड द अदर एनिमल्स द मदर वॉन्टेड हिज सन टू बी वट ही एक्चुअली इज एंड लेटर द अदर एनिमल्स टू गेट एडजस्टेड टू हिज स्मेल एंड बी फ्रेंडेड हिम क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वट वॉज द बेसिक प्लॉट ऑफ ईच स्टोरी टोल्ड बाय जैक आंसर द बेसिक plot of each story told by jack was about a smell uh, creature usually named roger the basic plot of each story told by jack was about a small creature usually named roger who had had some problem and went with it to the wise owl the owl would tell him to go to the wizard and the wizard performed a magic spell that that solved the problem and then demanded payment in pennies having got rid of his stink what problem did roger skunk face after now answer after having got rid of his stink roger skunk did not have the required seven pennies to pay the wizard who had helped to solve his problem he had only four pennies and so when the wizard demanded seven pennies roger skunk began to cry so student there are some more questions you can see them also and read them and try to understand them and uh, uh, do the best in your uh, exam so i hope so ki these are the question actually which are which were asked in the previous years uh, board papers therefore i have discussed this all and practiced this these uh, questions and uh, i hope that you, you will do the best in your board exams and uh, the similar kind of videos i will bring you know in time to time and uh, i hope so ki you will do best in the exams so now thanks for uh, watching and listening and i hope that you would do the best thank you very much for watching and listening have a good day